Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything and anything that has to do with yarn or crochet. So today we're going to be talking about crochet. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button um, below. And if you look in the description box, there will be a link to over a thousand free crochet tutorials. All there for you to enjoy. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, twisted infinity scarf. It's very beginner friendly and very, very easy to do. Um, now, some people ask me, like, how do you wear these things? So there's multiple ways that you can wear them. I'm going to try to show you on my mannequin here. So this is one way. Um, all it is, is, let me take this off. This is an infinity scarf with a twist. It has the twist in it, kind of like a Mobius wrap. So it's a big long one. And of course, you can adjust the size of this if you want. I'll give you some measurements of it in a minute. But as you can see... It's about, it's just strictly double crochet, and it has the twist already in it, like that. You can see that it's twisted. So there's, you know, a few ways you can wear them, just long like this. You could twist it up one time like that, and it would be, I don't have a lot of room here, down lower and depending on how you like you know where you want it to land on your body you could do a three twist like that which is i like the three twist that's what you see there in the picture is the three, three twist if you want it to go up around your hair you could just do the one that's up around the hair is a three twist and then it's pulled up from behind like that you can see that so you can also make it a lot wider than mine is so it can go it'll go down the back of your hair more if you'd like but yes so that's just some ways that you can wear it I'm gonna go ahead and move my mannequin her name's Amber in case you wondered she's got multiple wigs in case you uh, have seen her many times with different colors of hair all right I'm gonna show you the yarn I use and talk about the size of this infinity scarf all right so the the uh, infinity wrap that you just saw there is mine. You can make yours any size that you want. The length of it folded in half. You can see here's the twist at the bottom. It's just, I'll show you how to put that twist in. It's very easy to do. But folded in half like this is 40 inches long. And you can make yours longer if you like. Now the width of it is about eight, eight inches. Now, um, you can make that also thicker. Like I said, if you want it to go more um, behind, if you do want to wear it over your head, um, like the photo shows, you might want to make it a little wider, you know, a few more rows wider. Um, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. I'll show you the yarn that I used. So for, for this particular project, I used Caron Latte Cakes. Now, the Latte Cakes is my favorite of all the can cakes. It is a bulky and number five acrylic nylon blend. Now there are 530 yards in this cake and this is what I have left. So probably 400 yards maybe it took of a bulky five, but this is actually a pretty, pretty thin bulky. So, but you can use any weight that you want. Cause I, you know, any chain, you can use any chain amount you want. There's not even a, any certain multiple that it needs to be. So the weight really doesn't matter. I'm just showing you what, what I used. So that's what I used for the size. The color is called sugar pearls. And then for this particular yarn, I'm using a K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. So depending on what yarn you're using, what weight, I would recommend using what it says on the yarn. Um, if you're not going to be using the latte cakes or a similar weight to mine, I would be, I would just recommend using what uh, it says on your yarn. So I'm going to show you on a smaller scale because like I said, it's very easy, very beginner friendly. We're going to start off as long as you know the basic stitches, as long as you know how to do, you know, double crochets and stuff like that, you'll be just fine. A slip knot on our hook. Now we're going to make one huge, huge long chain. And then we will slip stitch it together to form one big large ring. So for me, for the size that I did, 
I chained 230 chains. Now you can chain, and that made it to be about 40 inches when it was folded in half. Now, um, you can chain as many as you want. Remember, there is no certain multiple. So you can make it shorter. You can make it a lot longer. Maybe you want it to fold over four times, five times, you know, whatever you like. It's your twisted infinity scarf. You do it however big you want it. But like I said, I'm going to show you on a smaller scale. So once you get that big, long chain done, remember I did 230 for mine. Um, you want to follow it down without twisting your chain and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Just like that. And then we're going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. Okay, it doesn't count as anything. We're going to go right back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into and double crochet. And now we're going to work around putting one double crochet into every single stitch of our ring until we make it back to our starting point. And since I chained 230 on my big piece over there, when I make it back around, I'll have 230 double crochets. But remember, if you chained a different number, that's how many double crochets you should have when you make it back around. So I'm just going to continue around, putting one double into every stitch until I make it back to my starting point. All right, I switched the yarn up because you couldn't see that fuzzy yarn very well. All right, so once you make it all the way back around, this is how you put the twist in the infinity scarf, and this would work for any infinity scarf that you're doing. So what you do is you take this side over here and you flip it upside down, while this side over here stays right side up, and now you just start double putting a double crochet in each stitch on the bottom part of uh, this, these stitches here. So this, you put a stitch here, which is actually the first stitch, but it's on the bottom, the bottom chain. Go right into it and double crochet. And then you work around the bottom of the chain, putting a double crochet into each stitch. And flip it as you go. And when you're working an infinity scarf, the sides mirror each other. So if you were using a different stitch, I have other uh, twisted infinity scarves. This is one that's very basic. I'll put those in the description box. But you just work all the way around, putting a double crochet in the bottom chain there of every stitch until you make it back around. And you'll know when you make it back around, because you'll be at your starting point. I'm just see, twisting that until I make it back. So back around. And you can see right here, it is twisted now. Perm twist, permanently twisted. And here's my starting point. So I'm gonna go ahead and work, work up to it, double crocheting. Remember this, this whole pattern just consists of double crochet. It's a very basic yet beautiful infinity scarf. Now when you make it back to your starting point, I didn't need a stitch there. You wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. And now you can see that permanent twist is there. See that? No matter which way you flip it, it has a twist in it. So, and then you just start again. So 
you won't be flipping your work anymore. Now it's just gonna, you're just gonna be doing rounds of double crochet. Chain one, and go back into that same stitch that you just slip stitched into, right here, and double crochet. And work around putting one double crochet in every stitch until you make it right back here to your starting point. Now remember you that that one time is the only time you have to flip it. It's now per, it's permanently flipped now, so it doesn't need flipped anymore. You'll always just be working one double crochet into the top of every stitch until you make it back to your starting point. You'll have to kind of flip it around like that as you go. So I'll meet back up with you at our starting point, which is right here. All right, I've made it back to my starting point and you can see it's still got the twist in it. All you do is just repeat that again. In with a slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain one and double crochet back into that first stitch. And continue around putting a one double crochet in every stitch until you make it back right here again. So we're just repeating that round that we just did. And like I said, I did it till I reached about eight inches, but if you're going to be putting it up over your hair or anything like that, you might want to do a little bit more. That's completely up to you. If I do wear mine, I, I, I would probably just wear mine double wrapped or triple wrapped. This is it. So you just got to keep going, putting a double crochet in every stitch. And as you go, that twist follows along. So you kind of got to untwist it a little bit like that and do more stitches. And then your twist is here again. So just kind of flip it out just like that. So that's all you do rounds and rounds of double crochet it's very simple very easy yet it makes a very very nice piece it works well for a man or a woman i like it i think it's pretty and when you get it as big as you want you just end by slip sticking slip stitching into your first double crochet tying off and hiding any tails that you have. Remember mine's a lot smaller because I just wanted to show you on a smaller scale. Hey, that's cute though. I like to wear wristbands. I mean, cute wristband, huh? My tiny sample. <laughs> Anyways, I'll bring out my big one. And that's it. I really like this with the Caroline Latte takes too. It made it nice and soft. I haven't hit my tails yet, but yeah, you can see my twist there. I always call it the perma twist because it's permanently twisted. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial. I hope you're able to follow along okay. Remember, if you make this or anything else from my tutorials, you can show me a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Um, this is something quick, easy, and fun to do. You can use any type of yarn, any weighty yarn. It's very customizable. Um, and um, remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.